Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial. I am Mr. 23 and recently I have participated in Benish challenge with this design. One of the parts that I loved working on was creating this circular clouds effect that you can see on top of the design. And I have also created some examples for you that you can make it on your own just by watching this tutorial. First, we are going to start by making a new square document. So it's really important that the document should be square. So be sure that you have the same dim dimension on each side. So let's drag this sky inside our document. And because the sky is bigger than my image, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command T and let's make it 20% for the beginning and then just drag the sides by holding shift if you need or not depending on your Photoshop version. So I'm holding shift to make my original picture square. Then go to filter, choose desort and color coordinates. Then go to filter again, choose desort and choose pinch this time. Then if you want to get rid of that line that we see here in the middle, let's duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl Command J. Then I'm going to rotate this image. So I'm going to press Ctrl Command T, right click and choose 90 degree counter clockwise. Then hit OK and add a mask. But this time not a normal mask. As you can see, a normal mask is filled with white. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and I'm going to make an inverted mask. So the mask should be filled with black. Take the brush tool, change the color to white and be sure that you have the black mask selected. And now just paint on the image. So I think this looks really nice. And then let's add another layer, adjustment layer, this time solid color, hit OK. And then on the white mask, just take the brush tool, but this time the black color should be selected and then, then paint in the middle. All right. And at the end, I'm going to change this white color to a bluish color to match better my design. All right. So after you finish with a middle circle, then go to the white color, double click and choose a color from your background. You can make it a bit darker to have the sky more dramatic. Now let me show you another quick example. I have this dramatic reddish sky. Let's bring it in our document. So press Ctrl Command T to make it smaller. Hold Shift if you have the latest version of Photoshop. If not, don't hold Shift. Choose this time flip vertically because I want to have this white part on top. Go to filter again, choose this sort and polar coordinates. Now let me hide those areas by taking the spot healing brush tool and I'm going to click around and I'm going to hide those areas that I don't like. Okay, so now I have a nice circle in the middle and again I'm going to duplicate this layer and rotate it 90 degrees to the left. Then I'm going to add an inverted mask by holding Art or Option, take the brush tool and with white selected you can uh, paint inside and it will hide those areas. All right, so this is it. Now, next, I'm going to maintain the same layer. I'm going to put it on, on top and I'm just going to change the color and that's it. I think this looks really nice. So this is the last example. Let's drag this layer inside our layer. I'm going to do the same thing. So Ctrl Command T, make it a square. Then hold shift if you need to and then go to filter, choose this sort polar coordinates and here it is. If you need, you can add the pinch also. Now let's zoom in, take again the spot healing brush tool and erase that, uh, that middle area. Okay. And then duplicate the layer and again, control command T rotate it to the left, 90 degrees to the left, and then press Alt and choose an inverted mask. Now I'm going to use the white color and I'm slowly painting on that line. And then if you want, you can select both layers and rotate them 90 degrees to the left. All right, so I'm going to use the same layer to hide the sides. Of course, now I can choose another color that matches my background better. So this is how I use this technique. 
with the polar coordinates and pinch to all together. Now let me show you how I applied this method in doing some really nice photo manipulations. So this is the design that I've created for Benish Challenge and in this design I have used that technique that I just showed you today in creating the circular clouds effect and I have other examples to show you that I've created by using the same technique. It's a really easy process, you can apply it to your own designs. Enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram where I can answer your questions. See you next time!